Neighbors, I'm pleased to have with me my good friend, John Paul Deney III. He's a farmer and rancher, and he's chairman of my Texas Agriculture Finance Authority. That's the Texas Department of Agriculture board responsible for awarding grants to our Young Farmer Program. John, it's, it's great to see you. And finally, glad finally to get here. you here and, and to, to be on, on the program. Yes, sir. I'm glad to be here. So tell our viewers a little bit about yourself, your agriculture background, how you got started in agriculture. Sure. My, my start uh, was because of a third generation farmer that took an interest in me as a child and invested in me. And that's where my seed for the love of agriculture kind of began. Well, that's good. That's good. Now, you and I both sit on this Texas Agriculture Finance Authority, or the, we call short, we call it the TAFA board. Right. Uh, talk about the board and how the Young Farmer Grant program works and what we're able to do with that. Sure. You know, it's, it, to me, it's a very exciting program because um, it is Texas farmers and ranchers reinvesting in Texas, beginning farmers and ranchers. And how that works, you know, is with our license plates. When you go buy those farm tags, a portion of that comes directly back to the that's TAFA. Five, five bucks, right? That's right. comes right back to that fund, and that's where we get the, the, the funds to do those matching grants. So these are from five to $20,000 matching grants that, that we give to young and beginning producers. And it's really exciting to think about Texas agriculture helping regenerate itself with new ideas and new thoughts and new folks. You know, and that, that $5, it, it's not mandatory. You can opt out. You don't have to pay it if you don't want That's to. That's right. So recently we, we gave a grant out to a young couple for $10,000, right? So basically, 2,000 farmers chipped in five bucks a piece to give this young couple a start. That's, that's right. Kind of what that, that's a, we don't like to call that a handout. We call that a hand up, giving these young couples a start. Right. Investing in them. That's right. Now, let's talk about how we make those decisions on, on providing these uh, young farmer grants, mm -hmm. how we pick the applicants, and, and how they have to provide a sound plan to use the money and show that, you know, they know what they're talking about, right? So, that's right. So they turn work? in a, a very detailed, um, uh, application. It shows their experience, their years, you know, in agriculture. It has references and letters of reference from folks and things like that. They turn in a business plan and, and itemize out what they're looking to do for that grant. Now, us as, as a board, I always try and um, you know, share with them, just like we talked about where that money comes from, those 2,000 farmers and ranchers. I look at it as a, a, a big responsibility that you are taking money that is being invested by those other producers and they're entrusting that with us to try and do good diligence with that money to reinvest that. So we try and look at, of course, need. We look at uh, what their plan is. Uh, you know, our state is very diverse and, and some things are well suited in some parts of Texas and not in others. So we have a very diverse board from folks all across the state and we use their expertise about their different areas when we look at what their project is. We most importantly look at, is this gonna help Texas in whole? Is this gonna help a community? Or are we just reinvesting in somebody's retirement plan? Right. And so those are kind of the parameters that we look at and, and really try and read into what their project is. John, you know I've gotten to know you and your family over the years, and agriculture is definitely your, your family business. And so how important is it to get these younger producers into the business? And, and uh, there's some challenges comes along with that, so talk about mm -hmm. that. You know, it is <coughs> very important. Just like with your cattle herd, if you're not reinvesting in that cattle herd and bringing in some quality replacements in there, you're going to wake up one day and have a herd that is not producing a craft crop anymore and they're all short, solid mouth. So you have to reinvest. Well, agriculture is the same way. We have got to continually reinvest in that at young and, and different ideas that, you know, are, that are coming along and, and help develop those things, give them opportunities. Hey folks, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back with John Paul Deneen of the TAFA board right here on Texas Agriculture Matters. Stay tuned.
Howdy, folks. Welcome back to Texas Ag Culture Matters. I'm Texas Ag Culture Commissioner Sid Miller. Now, let's get back to talking to John Paul Deneen and, and uh, about the Texas Ag Culture Finance Authority uh, that we do there at the uh, Department of Ag Culture. Now, John, another benefit to these young farmer grants is uh, we, we get to expand the, the variety of ag culture that, that we deal in. A good number of these uh, young operators, they aren't just running cattle farms, but they get into things like beekeeping or yeah. organic farming or aquaculture. That's and, right. Uh, how important is it to support these kind of non-traditional ag culture businesses? You know, it's really important and it is very exciting over the years to see the ingenuity and the ideas that come forth out of these young producers through their, their applications. And, and you're right, there's a, a wide array of, of different projects and ideas and concepts that they're, that they're going, uh, going towards. And it's important to, to support that kind of stuff and, and to see some of the ingenuity that is taking place because as you well know, um, there's a lot of urban sprawl and, and agriculture land is, is getting lost in various ways. And so it's good to, even in some of these ur more urban areas, to have some ideas of how they can still produce and, and have some agriculture there and agriculture education. You know, Texas leads the nation in a, in a lot of agriculture categories, and one is the number of young farmers we have getting in, into agriculture. But one of the challenges is how to pass that experience on, you know, with, with wisdom, you know, from our older farmers. Traditionally, that knowledge was passed down from family to family and, and so on. So what are your thoughts on these new farmers, these new producers, mm -hmm. and how can they, is there some way that they can benefit from these older farmers? You know, there is, and, and it's, it's making that local connection, I think, is key because just as our state is very diverse, uh, the climate is diverse, our soil is diverse, growing conditions, that. And that's where it's important for these young farmers to try and connect with someone in, in their area or their community. A good way to do that is through the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. They do crop tours locally in the counties and, and things like that. That's a good way for them to meet up with somebody uh, and make that connection. And it's up to us as, as established producers or older producers um, to open ourselves up and to be willing to meet with you know younger folks, talk to them, share our stories and, and, and our experiences on there. You know, you can Google things all day long, but a, as you know, uh, sometimes it always doesn't work out the way that it should on paper. And you have to be able to adapt and, and be flexible. No two years are the same. You know, that that's all great. And you know, I can't let you get out of here without uh, uh, asking it, for you to comment on the Texas Agriculture Memorial Day, which, which you created. Uh, and we're proud to support it the TDA. So tell us a little bit about that. Sure, and, and I am always grateful for your support every year with that. You know, that is an important thing. Um, you know, these, these folks that have invested their lives uh, into agriculture, it's not a job, it's not something they turn off at 5 p.m. It's something that is a part of them and a part of their family. And you know, there's always more than a monetary cost that goes into producing food and fiber for everybody. It is a, a privilege and I feel that it is, is, is a gift from God that he calls his farmers to produce food and fiber for his people. And, and each farmer on average produces for about 160 folks. And when, when an accident and a tragedy happens, um, this is something that, that those families appreciate, that their loved one mattered, that what they did for, for a living and, and you know, uh, sometimes, you know, we take, take some criticism for, for how we produce and how we raise. And for Texas to show appreciation back to those families, it is a very important thing and it's very appreciated. And I know that, sure. that you have seen that firsthand sure. with those families at, at that memorial. Well, it's a great program and we appreciate you, you know, uh, coming up with that and working with us on it. Uh, but you're, you're a leader in this industry and not just as a producer, but as a decision maker, as an advocate. So here's the question. Why do you think Texas agriculture matters? You know, I think it's important, and in Texas agriculture matters because no matter what you want to eat or what type, whether it's organically grown or whether you, you are choosing to be a, a vegan or whatever, you need an agriculture producer for that. You have to eat. We cannot, you know, produce <laughs> food 
uh, just by twinkling our nose. There is a person that has to raise those vegetables or raise that meat or raise that fiber or that timber for our homes and stuff. It's just a part of, of life. And sometimes we, maybe we forget that, but it is truly one of the most important things that we have. Well, John, great answer. And I thank you so much for joining us here on Texas Agriculture Matters. Thanks for what you do for, for Texas, for agriculture. You've got your own show. You're promoting agriculture just, just like we do. So God bless you and thank thanks. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it very much. Friends, we'll be right back shortly with more from Texas Agriculture Matters. Stay tuned.